Welcome to Seeing Dead People, the mystery storytelling podcast with a clairvoyant twist. We end every episode with Darcy answering a question from a listener about her psychic process. Whatever is going on in her head, I think it's so cool and astonishing. Trust me, you're going to have your own questions. Well, so let me just unpack that a little bit. First and foremost, when you came up towards the threshold, you immediately knew you didn't want to go past it. What were you thinking or seeing or feeling? I was feeling darkness, like a big pit, and I was going to fall into it. If you crossed the threshold? Yes. Ooh. And then you said you asked them to go downstairs and get a couple of things. What did they get for you? I had her grab a sage stick out of my purse, salt out of the kitchen, and something to put the sage in, and a candle and a lighter. Okay, so you have sage and a container, a candle and lighter, and something else from the kitchen. What was that? Salt. Oh, salt. Oh, okay. All right. And then you, what, did you just grit your teeth and step across? Oh, basically, grit my teeth, step across, have the light go out. And then after they're back on, light the sage, sage the room, bring the entity closer to the center put salt around the circle where he's standing and telling him he can't ever leave that, that the only way he can leave is to move into universe. Mm -hmm. And then leave the salt trail all the way out the house so that basically he could follow me out of the house, but he couldn't leave the circle. He couldn't stay in that room anymore. And when you were talking to him, was he responding in any way? Yeah, he was just angry. Okay, so when you're saying you're having a conversation, really it's a one-way conversation? Well, yes and no. It's a one-way verbally. Okay. And I can hear him in my head. So, But all he was was angry. You could feel the essence of his anger. Did you get a sense of why he was so angry? Well, he felt it was his house and no one belonged in it but him. Oh, okay. Now, he did come out with me. And when I went to get in my car, I basically told him, you're not allowed to follow me home, that your universe is now out here. Okay. And that night when I went to bed, I actually couldn't shut off the light. I couldn't go to sleep because I still could feel the presence of the, the evil. It, it's the only way to describe it. Wow. Evil feeling. And then finally, I laid on the floor and I had a sheet over me because if I felt less excited on the floor. Yeah, okay. My eyes were closed and all of a sudden it was someone had picked up the sheet and it was doing that, you know, where you put someone in the center of a blanket or sheet and you toss them up and down. Yeah. And that was going on and then the sheet fluttered down on top of me. I sat up and I went, that's it. Get out of here. <laughs> and we're gone. Wow. You're pretty brave. No, I was pretty scared. Wow. I'm going to take you back to the room. You said the dog came to the threshold and growled. Were you afraid the dog would come in and attack you? Yeah, because the entity was beside me. Right. So the dog wouldn't be able to distinguish where the evil was coming from. And you were obviously a live, breathing, flesh entity that he could attack. Yes. thing is, once the entity was in, confined in, in the salt... It changes the energy and the molecule of the entity. Uh, salt is a purification. We'd love to hear from you with questions for Darcy about her psychic process or suggestions for other mystifying situations you would like us to investigate. So please shoot us an email to info at radiosydney.ca with seeing dead people in the subject line. This has been a program of Radio Sydney.